Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about Jean Shrimpton and the famous white mini dress she wore to the 1965 Derby Day. Jean Shrimpton has been dubbed one of the first supermodels. She famously met David Bailey, one of Britain's greatest portrait photographers, on the roof of the Vogue offices. She became one of his first muses and they went on to have a four-year relationship. Jean was also a 60s style icon, credited as being one of the first to launch the miniskirt. British fashion designer Mary Quant was one of the designers credited for designing the miniskirt, although she said it was the girls on the King's Road drawing the swing in London scene who invented the miniskirt. I was making easy, youthful, simple clothes in which you could move, in which you could run and jump, and we would make them the length the customer wanted. I wore them very short, and the customers would say, shorter, shorter. She had noticed that girls were making their skirts shorter, so she just gave them what they wanted. The mini skirt is described as one of the defining fashions of the 1960s. On 1965 Derby Day at Flemington Racecourse in Melbourne, Australia, Jean wore a white mini dress that sparked controversy. It was later described as a pivotal moment in women's fashion. Jean's visit to Australia was highly anticipated. It was envisioned that she'd show up in a beautiful hat, gloves and stockings which was expected at this formal event, but instead she turned up in a simple white shift dress. The dress was made by dressmaker Colin Rolfe. He had not been supplied with enough fabric to complete the intended design, so at Jean's suggestion, Rolfe finished the hemline four inches above the knee, with Jean saying, nobody's going to take any notice, as she always wore dresses above the knee. Jean said on the day of the races, which was the 30th of October 1965, that it was a very hot day so she didn't bother wearing any stockings. She had no hat or gloves as she didn't own any. She said there was absolute silence in the members lounge at Flemington when she arrived. She was openly scorned as she was defying protocol and she was surrounded by kneeling cameramen all shooting upwards to make the dress look even shorter. Jean's Derby Day outfit scandalised the nation and caused a global sensation. The Derby and its winner were even taken off the covers of the newspapers and replaced with a photo of Jean. The article read, The world's highest paid model snobbing the ironclad conventions at fashionable Flemington in a dress five inches above the knee. No hat, no gloves and no stockings. Jean later said, I feel Melbourne isn't ready for me yet. It seems years behind London. Jean also said that she had no intention of upsetting anybody, just that she had not been sent enough material for a longer dress. Jean's appearance at Derby Day 1965 has since been described as a defining moment in fashion at the races and the pivotal moment of the introduction internationally of the miniskirt. Young girls in Australia wanted to be like Jean, free, cool and elegant. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!